Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is episode 17 of my $25 thrift challenge and today is just the most gross, rainy, sad day ever, but I'm excited to be inside thrifting today. If you're new to my channel, basically every week I go to Goodwill and I spend $25 or more sometimes to put together an outfit or just find some pieces that I really love. I started this whole series because I wanted to just encourage people to get out and thrift and also to prove that you don't need to spend a lot of money to build your wardrobe and find some really awesome pieces. So let's get into it. Y'all, commitment. I'm using my umbrella and filming and walking into Goodwill. Switching carts because this one is smaller and I also think these belong to Kroger next door so I'm gonna just grab the little one. So it is very quiet in here today which is really uncomfortable to be honest because filming is really hard when it's super quiet. But I think I'm gonna start in the dresses and really stick to $25 today. That is my goal, to just not go over. That's, that's the goal and obviously to find an outfit but mainly $25. All right, so I found a couple dresses that I thought were fun prints. Look how fantastic this is. Is this incredible? Yes, I think this is amazing. Literally like one second ago, it was dead silent and now there's so much going on, but I don't think I'm crazy to start shopping for sweaters. Now is the perfect time to start because it's August and in a couple months, I'll be able to wear them. I'm gonna go through bags now. jeans and I found this amazing pair of mom jeans last time I came so I'm hoping I can find another really solid pair of jeans I always love finding a good pair of denim do you guys like this I think this is a uh, definitely my style I swear that this color theme was not intentional. I don't know why, but I'm just really into these brown tones right now and the creams and I guess I'm just shopping for fall already. <laughs> Of course, I have to pick this up. This is a Christian Dior sweater. Are you kidding me? And I actually really wanted a blue sweater. Since I seem to be having good luck with a lot of fall pieces, I'm gonna try to find some shoes that I think would work well for transitioning into the fall. I'm wondering if these are too big, but I really, really like them. I think they're so cute. I think these are really fun, but they are not my size, unfortunately. So far what I picked out, I feel like we're gonna have a full outfit, feeling really promising. All right, so now I'm gonna try everything on. This is my little selection, and I also got a bunch of shoes and bags to try style it. I'm gonna try to put together an outfit and then show you guys when I get home. I am really loving this, like, color spectrum right now though. This is the only thing that I don't really think matches, but this is Christian Dior, so who cares? <laughs> so I feel like this would not be a buy Chloe Wynn thrift challenge if I was not trying on a striped top. I don't know if I'm gonna get this, but this honestly just feels like a really safe kind of like backup if I need it. Probably won't get it. Just wanted to show you guys that yes, I still look for striped tops every time I go thrifting. I picked up this top because I thought the fabric was gorgeous, but this is like, so weird. Who designed it to fit like this? Like I thought this was like maybe an off shoulder sleeve or something, but it just doesn't look very good. So this is a no. So this one is another maybe. I really liked the buttons and the texture and the color, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I like it, but it's kind of plain, I think. So this is a definite no. Um, I thought this would be cute and putting it on, this is just the ugliest thing I've ever seen. This one is a no. <laughs> 
and another just horribly unflattering top. Like this is just so gross. Why? So I just got done and I ended up spending $24.81 and I rounded up to exactly $25 and I have the receipt for proof. Just to show you that I did not go over $25 this time, I ended up getting an entire outfit including bag and shoes as well as another top and a fun little planter for the house. So I think I did a really good job. I will say the outfit that I picked out is so fall that I just I'm obsessed with it. It's just a really awesome fall transition outfit. And I don't know if it's the rain and just the gloomy cloudy day, but something in me was just so drawn to like browns and creams and you're gonna love this outfit. It's so cute. I'm excited, I'm ready for fall, but I know there's people out there who are not ready for fall. Let me know if you guys like fall and winter or if you guys are more like spring and summer. I'm really interested to know because Jason and I are both just cold weather people. We love cold weather. I know there's people out there who who just love heat in summer and I would just love to know what you guys are into because I'm ready for the cold crisp air. So now it's time for the try on portion and like I mentioned earlier, I spent $25 on an entire outfit plus some additional pieces. I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. I didn't get a lot of colors this time. I was more leaning towards those like neutrals and those gorgeous creams and browns and I think you guys are gonna really love this outfit. Plus I hope it gives you guys some ideas for fall outfits as well. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is actually not clothing related at all. It's just a little planter that I found that I thought was so adorable. I love the texture on this. I think this just has the most gorgeous like rustic looking texture. And I really love to mix new modern pieces with some older antique looking pieces. So I thought this would just look so cute with some plants in it. The first piece of clothing that I got is actually not related to the outfit. So this was just an extra little piece that I wanted so badly. And it's this gorgeous little Zara top. It lays so beautifully and it's loose and you can tie it in the front, but I absolutely love the floral detail. I'm definitely trying to embrace the summer and wear as many colors and floral prints and stuff like that as I can right now until it gets to fall where I will thrive in my sweaters. I've seen a lot of shirts with like smaller flower print, but I don't have anything that has like this big floral print. I thought this was adorable. So this top is actually from Zara, but how I would wear it is I would twist the front and then tuck it into whatever skirt or jeans that I'm wearing. And that way it fits a little bit more snug. It really does show off your figure a little bit better. I absolutely love how loose this top is. It's not constricting in any way. I think this top is just perfect for summer. I love that it's more of a statement top so you can just pair it with some jeans. Okay, so the first piece of the outfit is this gorgeous sweater. And I actually ended up basing the entire outfit around the sweater because I found this first and I knew I had to get it. It's just the most gorgeous little knit. And and it has a zipper that goes all the way down the back so I love that little detail but it is just so soft and cozy and the second I picked it up I knew that my heart was ready for the colder weather so I absolutely love this I could see this definitely tucked in some jeans or paired with a skirt which I'm going to be showing you next so this skirt is so gorgeous on and it's actually a similar color to that sweater which is what made me start to move towards like that monochrome like all tans and browns and just gorgeous like warm neutrals. So this is just a cute little plain skirt. It has a couple lines down the front for some detail, but other than that, it's very simple, very plain, but it looks absolutely amazing with that sweater and the two tones together just work really well. I love the texture of that sweater with the texture of the skirt. It just looks really good, I promise. So the bag that I found, I absolutely love and you're gonna say, Chloe, another woven bag? And I'm gonna reply, yes, another woven bag because I'm obsessed with them and they're on trend so why not it was four dollars I got it how adorable is this I absolutely love that darker richer brown I have a lot of lighter brown bags but this one really stuck out to me because of the wooden handles and again the inside is so clean like all of these bags that I find are really new like I don't know if people ever use the bags that they donate or if they're just like I'm never gonna use this I'm gonna donate it I'm not complaining because I think that that's great and I love getting bags that are never used. I just love how big these handles are and this is something I could wear to events and for $4 it was like, why not? And then the shoes that I got to go with this outfit basically make this outfit. They are gorgeous leopard print heels. And I know what you're thinking, like Chloe, 
leopard print that's not really like you but wait when you see it with this outfit you're gonna totally understand why i went for these these look so expensive on i don't know what it is it might be like that chunky gold buckle i don't know like i think these just look so classy and they almost look designer to me they're barely worn the heel is perfect so they're gonna be really comfortable to wear it all works together it looks so good so we're just gonna try on the outfit right now this is the full outfit and i think this is just the perfect little fall day look and then i think the leopard shoes just add a little bit of interest to the outfit i tucked the sweater into the skirt to create kind of a line of where my natural hips are and i think it just kind of broke the outfit up a little bit and kind of showed a little bit more shape i really just love the simplicity of this outfit i think the oversized sweater is so cozy with a skirt which dresses up a little bit and then this bag is just so unique because of the wooden handles to me it feels a little bit more high-end i feel like this is something a little bit different than i would normally wear i love the monochromatic i think it's a great fall outfit you can never go wrong with neutrals plus each one of these pieces you could break up and style differently with other pieces so that's everything for this week's episode of the 25 dollars thrift challenge i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know which piece was your favorite if you guys want to keep up with my life and my daily activities and everything else that i do be sure to follow me on instagram at by chloe win and i will link it down below as well but don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i would love to have you guys back for some more videos i post three times a week i don't know how i've been doing that but i hope you guys enjoy the three videos a week and i'll see you in my next one bye guys